Hello, welcome back to Nook and Cranny Gaming. I am Nook, and this is the evil within the consequence, and we are about to embark, I believe, into the finale of the consequence. I have no idea, I'm just making a prediction because there's been a lot of finale buildup happening. Uh, last time... Yeah, last time this guy started going crazy. Er. Oh boy. Oh boy. Things are getting crazy here. Oh man. And we're still looking for one more safe. We still have one more safe to find, but it feels like, you know, the action sequence that shouldn't end uh, for me to find a safe. You know, that type of thing. Oh, that door doesn't open. So, it, I don't know. I, I know that I haven't missed one because I've been getting them in order. Oh man, we're back at the... Oh no, we're... We're back at Beacon. We made it to... <gasps> Hello, my friend. You've made me feel so much better right now. Somebody spilled ketchup all over you. Uh, that's right. And then... Moving this one to there. And then this one down here. Of course, we'll move one of the ones up top. Three... No, just three. So one, two, three. Oh, okay. That worked. I don't know why I was... I was counting it out because I thought that one would move the other and I'd have to blah, 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 yada, yada. Uh, we will look at that, that letter at the end of the game to see what it reveals that we've been collecting thus far. So, stick around for that. And uh, I am not going to be really looking so hard for anything anymore because the safes were kind of my main focus. So, we are just charging through like a... New Dodge Ram from Dodge. New tactic by Dodge Ram. If a Ram is coming at you, dodging. I don't know how, but they know everything. What happened? They even know about Leslie. Not Leslie. No use hiding this Why don't you hide? Oh. I'll enter the no system hiding. and my return will be proof that all of this was worth it. You sure? I can of course convince them that it wasn't for me. It was for their goals. Mm-hmm. There are just the final tweaks left. Sure. I, I will put Leslie in the stem with myself and activate it. The wireless signal should ring out in the near distance. I can't speak for those unfortunate to be around. But like I always said, um. the ends will justify the means. Finally, Mobius will see that I am one of their chosen ones. Ruben is but a ghost. I am their savior. Their plan is nothing without me. I'm trying to remember how the evil within started to see how that lines up. He just hops in with Leslie, apparently, and uh, turns it on, and whoever's there, you know, just good luck to them, I guess. And I'm wondering if, you know... Who got caught up in that? Oh god, so many doors, and yes, I'm gonna look in them. Look at them, at least. So that one specifically says that it's locked. Why? Why? You have piqued my curiosity. Hoppity scotching from door to door. Hello, bullets. A bunch of guys are gonna come out of these doors, right? And I'm gonna have to wait for the elevator to come. Is that is that the plan? Is that the plan, game? Does that sound good? You wanna shake on it? Alright. I'll stick to the plan if you want to stick to the plan. No problem. Yep, waiting on that elevator. Hmm. Wonder what's going to happen during my time of need here. I don't like the lights being out. This is very creepy. Oh, I didn't reload! I'm a terrible person. I'm a terrible person. I still was reloading. Rather be at one end and know what's coming than uh, be out there in the middle of the dark. I don't know, that seems pretty cramped. I'll just make sure that I'm reloading every time. We are reloaded. Ok. 
Okay. That guy's probably still gonna get up though. That was a ding. Hope there's nothing behind me. Whew, good. Probably unnecessary, but it's all good. You won't answer our questions. Is it out of fear? Fear is such a subtle thing. But when one experiences true fear, is when they can be controlled. They can be molded. STEM is an abortion, a machine designed on the premise of fear. But in a sense, it is perfect for what we hope to achieve. Should I shoot him? You will be the first. You will bow under this fear, or you will die. Yeah, shooting doesn't help. You will serve as an example for what we will become. So are they actually imprinting me with Ruvik? Where's the safe? Where's the last safe? No, oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. I'm so tired that I forgot. We got it already. Can I just end this? Brilliant. <laughs> Genius. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> I love these game devs so much. Holy crap, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, I love that. That was so good. Alright, let's go ch chase down Leslie like we're supposed to be doing. Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, man. That was so good. That was so good. I'm so glad I decided to just do that. Look, Sebastian, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, that too. Sebastian, listen to me. He he can't be the head of Mobius. The same as ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. Yeah. You killed Joseph and you shot me. So right at this moment, that's enough reason for me not to trust you. You're a good man. That's why I... It doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Rubik. He's the one that... Exactly. It's Ruvik. He's Ruvik. Or he's gonna be Ruvik. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Back to the final battle. This is where shit got crazy. Leslie, stop. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. I don't even know what that means. It's just so cool. It's such a cool idea. I, I don't know what's going on, but I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay. So they got Leslie. The way they wanted him, or not? You failed. But I didn't kill him. I mean, no. yeah, you said for me to bring None him back, so... You aren't real. 
you want to believe that, but I'm right here. Who I've been are with you? This whole time. This world is, is a it? nightmare. Is it him? But I'm not afraid is it him it is? No. That just shows how no, it's just some understand. douche. <laughs> you should be very afraid. We have you, kid. And you know the consequences for failure. We won't let you just leave us. Final battle. This world is a prison for you to run in. Yep, I'll just reload this. I've had enough of this. I'll kill you right here. Alright, well. Peace out. I see a thing. Hi. Oh, it's just ammo. Come on. So how do I know which is which? Looking for differences. Looking for... Oh, oh god, I just about ran into him. Oh my gosh, why don't you auto-reload? I hate you so much! Why would you not just automatically reload? Everybody's asking you the same question, Nook. Why didn't you just press X after you shot? That would solve all of your problems. That's what I like to see. What does this world look like to you? I don't need to play your games. Gosh. I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm still good. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's it. I'm dirt. I'm dirt. Sorry. What does this world look like to you? Hey, reload. Reload, reload, reload. Reload, 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 reload. Pick up the ammo. Good. Me, kid, what do you see? Well, that was a good hit. I did something right. Now we're in a box. It's a dick in a box. I mean, like he, he is the. Oh my, Lanta. Oh my gosh. I don't like this. I don't like how they move. I don't think I can, I just take damage. When they hit me, like I just there's just a set amount of damage, and I can't, I'm not gonna be able to get away. Not being able to run when you're under half health, uh, and when you own when you go straight to half health with one hit, it's rough. It's hard. Just to let you guys kind of know what's going on, you know. Oh hi. Look, I'm just looking for your master. I don't care about you guys. Should I care about them? Should I just try to find him? I'm just trying to focus on maybe finding him. Hello. This is very frightening and I don't know what to do about it really. Uh, so he's... I thought I saw him. Oh man. Am I gonna have to defeat these? I was hoping I could just chase him down and kill him. 
but I might actually have to kill them in order to get to him. Okay, keep moving, keep my gun loaded, and everything should be all right. You're a fool to try and fight us, Kidman. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing anything good here. You're going to die, kid. Yeah, 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 get off. For better threats than a Chuck E. Cheese. Get out of here. There we go. Got a few more shots. I have no idea, though, if I'm doing any good. Uh, and I can't heal unless I stand still. And whenever one of them catches me, the axe chick gets to me. That rehealed me, so. Okay, that scared me real bad. this up. Oh, okay. So she's giving me some, some ammo. Good, 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 good. Let's do it. 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 What do you want? It's a shame you'll never see what we accomplished. It's a shame you'll never accomplish what you think you see. You stay in the same size as I move closer to? Him. Got it. Hiding? You think you can run, but you're ours. Oh my gosh. Alright, bring it on, Bongo Bongo. I've been playing Zelda all my life. Bring it, bring it. What do you got, huh? You got nothing. How will you hug, hug your children with nuclear arms? You ever think about that? I'm gonna just slowly reload my gun and. Is that it? Did that do it? Hey, black cat. Hey, gun. Oh, hell yeah. This is totally happening. This really isn't my personality to just put one in the back of somebody's head. But fuck these people. That's what I got to say. Oh, yeah. Make sure there's one in the barrel. Chamber. Chamber. It's in the chamber. That's the cool name for it. Listen, I don't care for the filth that spills from your mouth. Is that right? I'm stronger than you think. You got anything else to say? Good night. Good working for you. This is my two-week notice. Here we go. Are you That's sure the enough one. in yourself? Sure enough to face the responsibilities of your actions? <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I made that same joke when we played The Evil Within. He's got such a f funky face, though. Yeah, so what's going on with this now? Are we going to have a definitive answer on if he's been... Like, brainwashed into being the new Reuben? Agent Kidman, we've got him from here. How long has it been? Nurse? 37 minutes since the first pulse. Nah, I don't think so. How did we get here? 
This is totally some umbrella shit, man. Just give me a minute. I need to get my head straight. Myra, we need you back here. All right, but we've got word he wants a debriefing as soon as you get back. They're good. These writers are good. Oh man, dude, your wife is right here. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's not good. What'd you do? Did Welcome you wipe? Welcome to the real world, Sebastian. I hope you find what you're looking for. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one is. Yeah, that's what I feel like. The little jabby in my brain brain. What? Okay, so, uh... Season 2 finale of Lost, right? Uh, Black Smoke, uh... <laughs> what is happening? Okay, I mean, that's one cool thing is that the game does keep asking questions. I'm okay with that. Like, I'm, I'm alright with a game and a show creating more and more questions. I just hope that it does wrap up. And some of the things, there are like pitfalls that you have to dodge when you're asking so many questions in an entertainment piece. Because people are going to... People have... Um, I'm trying to think of... There's a, a guy that I watch on Twitch. He does, like, D&D as a DM. And then he calls our brains just excellent, like, pattern-making machines. Or, or realization machines. Where we just see patterns everywhere. And it's true. Like, if you look at how we communicate and do art and all that stuff. Like, there's just patterns everywhere. So what I'm trying to say is pitfalls that people can fall into when they're writing stories. When they're asking a ton of questions like like Lost or, or even this is like kind of getting on the level of Lost of all the questions that it's asking without giving any real answers. But still developing the characters so that it keeps you intrigued and the story is still interesting. So um, if you ask too many questions, I'm not going to say that you ask too many questions. If you ask questions and never answer the significant ones, then that will come back to bite you, and your audience will not like you, or not like you, uh, will not be appreciative of how you dealt with the situation. And the answers to those questions, to go beyond that, so let's say you do answer the major plot points, those answers have to make sense at their core. They have to make sense. You don't always need to trick people. You don't always have to throw a twist in. Um, you don't have to take like a cop-out answer to a question that's been burning. Um, if you don't have the answer to a question when you ask it in a script, great, fine, figure it out later. But don't try to trick people into believing something else. Um, if, you, if you just throw an answer at it and it doesn't fit and it doesn't make sense at its core with the rest of the elements of the game... That's when people are going to get upset about the answer you've given. It's not about getting a good answer or a shocking answer to something. Because some people are still going to be shocked and they're not going to make ties between things. But we have these incredible pattern recognition machines that are in our brains. Uh, that are in our heads. Our brains. Um, that will see the patterns of storylines and character development. And these questions that are being asked. And if the answers don't line up, when you give the answer, then 
they're gonna recognize it. They're gonna know something's off. It's like trying to say you've won tic-tac-toe when you've got an X in the corner and another X in the other corner, but you've decided to put the X everywhere except for where it makes the connection, you know? Like, the two points are there and the answer's there, you you just you, you don't win. <laughs> um, and here you've done the tactic where you've got X's in all corners and you just need to place it somewhere. Uh, but you left one corner open and I'm worried that sometimes writers try to make it work and they'll just throw the X up in that other corner instead of making the connection between one of the three. Did that come across? I don't know. Scott might need to put a graphic up on screen if, if <laughs> he listens to this and I'm just like... Uh, and the tic tac toe, and, and the game is fun, man. I liked it. it was scary, though. It was scary. I don't know if I'm going to sleep. The questions, I don't mind. I like it. It keeps the story suspenseful, and it keeps the drama and the, the thriller aspect of it always having questions. Um, sometimes questions are bigger, uh, more terrifying elements than you can create in a 3D modeling machine or in art. Uh, if you have like a question of, am I going to survive this or not? You know, that's a total, um, that's a question that can weigh heavily on somebody or is Ruvik free to roam the earth now to just take over? And that was a question I had at the end of evil within, and they're still leaving that open at the end of the story again with no real answer. Um, the only thing that we do know is that in the nightmare, Ruvik did grab Leslie, and Leslie became water and was absorbed up into the stem and into that brain. And that brain would be Ruvik's brain that was at the core of the actual machine in the real world. So it's possible that they swapped places at that moment. Now, why didn't the whole world or the whole nightmare change? Because Ruvik's still in control, and that's the whole thing they wanted was to be able to take Ruvik out of the machine or use him to control it to their whim. So Ruvik was still hooked up because Leslie was still hooked up. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, either that or they were trying to erase Ruvik's mind, but they weren't because they actively said, like, we need this kid alive and we need him back, um, and we need Ruvik at the same time. Or no, they were trying to replace him, I guess. They were trying to take Leslie as the blank slate. Because the machine was programmed in such a way that only Ruvik could operate it. Because of his traumatic experiences. And there were only a few people who would match the same coding, or the traumatic coding that had been built into the machine, kind of subconsciously, by Ruvik. But Leslie fit these parameters, and he's not an evil mad scientist that's butchering people. But he still had the same traumatic experiences which made him compatible with Ruvik and the stem. So what do we take away from that? Hell if I know. <laughs> uh, I also believe that the guy that we shot in the head at the end is trapped in the stem now. Because the voice at the end... She said, leave those two and that one. Uh, they're not going anywhere. Because I think they were the ones that died in the stem. And then there was the voice with no one is. Makes me think that he's still trapped inside of the stem machine. Chapter 4 clear, New Game Plus is now unlocked. So if we missed anything, I can run back through on New Game Plus, which is what I did for the first bit. Clear bonus, you can now choose... Oh, this is the super hard... Um, mode. The mode actually everything's pitch black except for what you've got your flashlight on which is just insane. I don't, I don't know about doing that. So let's absolutely save the game. Absolutely. Back out. Because we have one more thing to address. Why the baby dolls? Why the baby dolls? That's not what we're addressing. What we're addressing is within our archives. And yeah, I'm going to the model viewer real quick. Oh man, we missed three snails. There were two before we finally started seeing snails, and then one after. I'm going to have to make another run at this game, aren't I? Soundtracks? I missed one. We were so close. I'll, I'll grab those when I run through for the snails. Archive. 
You know what we're going for. We have a bunch of letter scraps to put together. That's right. So here we go. We're going to put these together right quick and see what our new letter says from the second set of DLC. Um, these are what we found inside the safes, if you do not remember. And uh, the, the first one, I think, was a note from Jimenez that he had ripped up, it seemed, and hidden. But it also could have been a note from Ruvik. And I know these aren't exact, but if you get them just lined up well enough, it will uh, it'll automatically seam the rest of them together. That uh, seems like it should go right here. <laughs> oh boy. The humor is good. <laughs> now we'll go down here, grab this one. Most on controller. I mean, maybe use a mouse would make this a lot easier. So there. And one more piece. There it is. Second torn letter. This machine, the system. I was reborn inside, and I will be reborn again. For every person Stim touches, a seed of myself will be within them. Piece by piece, I will corrupt you, consume you. I envision a world where a mere glance of the eye will allow me to spread on to the next. Just as you said, I am a ghost, but now I have a vessel in all of you. The man from Mobius, he entered here lusting for some sort of power long ago. As for you, kid, even if you happen to escape, I will leave my mark on you as I did to him. Whoa! <laughs> so this note only exists within the nightmare. If you happen to escape, I will leave my mark on you as I did to him. Wow. What does that mean for... Oh, man, there's so many unanswered questions and about, like, specifically Ruvik's power and how it translates to the real world. Is it just, like, the spirit of murder and evil and madness? Or is there actually some kind of supernatural ability or, or something that's unlocked or placed within each person? I don't know. These are all questions that we might be able to answer in the next set of DLC for Evil Within. So make sure that you stick around. Please subscribe down below. If you like the episode, please like the episode. And also leave me a comment down below about what you thought about the whole DLC package of Kidman's story during Evil Within. I'd love to talk to you. So thank you so much for watching. It is way past Nook's bedtime, so I'm going to hit the old Hershnemet. I'm going to hit the hay, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh! So you're the